Geiger, Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, two hours left to go in the trading week. And we got markets hanging around positive territory for most of the day. Dow Jones up 244 points, trending at 26,387. We got S&Ps up 16 points above 2,900 today for the first time since October of last year. S&P futures trading 2,908. NASDAQ up 23 points, trading at 7,971. Notes and bonds, lower price, higher yield. 10-year note, negative 15 ticks, 123.03. 30-year bond, negative 28 ticks, 146.27. And we're going to start it off with those rates. Jumping over to the 10-year right now, 2.558. Quite a number. Just within the last three months, we were down there at 2.366. You're almost approaching two-tenths of a percent as we're above that level. Jumping over to the futures markets, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we'll start it off with the Dow. So we had a little bit of an acceleration to the upside. 9.40 a.m. we reach highs, 26.438. Dow trades down to a low of 26,313. We're sitting right at 26,400. NASDAQ 100, highs of the session, 8.15 a.m. this morning, 76.64. We trade down to about 76.20 just at 11.15 a.m., and we're now currently trading 76.39. S&Ps trading at 29.09, the high we made just after the opening bell, 29.14. Crude oil bouncing around a bit. We had quite a deal in the energy sector with Chevron buying, we'll pull it up, and a Darko, $33 billion. We'll see if that deal goes through, though, because as that came out, it resurfaced that Occidental had bid more than $70 a share. The, the Chevron deal coming in at about $65. i am sure there's more details as to why they chose the Chevron deal as opposed to Occidental. And gold. 1294.75 currently was up there approaching 1299 on a couple occasions and euro trading 11297. In terms of what else you have out there, quite a day of fundamental news jumping over. Check out JP Morgan with their earnings this morning off the highs, but still up about 4.6% for JP Morgan on the session. And we had Disney with details on Disney Plus up 10.4%, and that hitting Netflix a bit as you got Netflix trading at 351, down 4.8%. 4%. Stay tuned. we got our man Dave White coming up with the Power Trading Hour right now. And then I'll be back at 3 o'clock. I'm going to be covering for Tom from 3 till 4. We'll have our man Dave coming on for the Tech Insider Hour at 3.30. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great Friday.